All right, hey everyone. I am here today at Hunts Marine uh, Batemans Bay with Brad, and in the background you are going to see a brand new shiny yellow fin uh, YF70. It's been a long time in the making. Um, I've been talking to Brad on and off about yellow fin boats probably for a few years now. He's probably yeah, yeah, many years. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, he's given me a lot of quotes, and he's been a bit annoyed over the years. I've asked him a thousand <laughs> questions, but he's been very helpful. Um, you know, I've definitely considered buying a Southerner in the past, but there was just a few little things with the Southerners that I just couldn't quite get past. And um, I guess when uh, I got given a heads up about these boats, um, I was really surprised and impressed that Yellowfin has really taken this boat um, to the next level. And um, so there'll be plenty more videos uh, to come. Brad and I are going to show you everything that. Uh, Brad does to it. It's going to be in the Step workshop away, here, um, probably for a little while, I would say. We've but, got a little um, bit to do to it, so it will be here for a little while. But we'll uh, make sure everything's right and um, and get it all 100%. Yep. Yeah, so that sounds good. So the plan of attack. Uh, Brad's talked me into a 250 uh, Yamaha for the back of it, and I think that drive by wire, digital steering. Yep, yep. All that sort of stuff. So I think um, you know I really like the ability to expand with the Helmmaster set up Later in the future. Um, for now we won't be doing that but we'll just have that ability to expand. So before I just give you guys an update on the boat and show you guys where I think um, they've made some massive uh, improvements, I'll just give you a bit of a just an honest heads up of some of the issues I had with the Southerners personally. Brad won't condone this because he's, he's a yellow, <laughs> yellow fin at, dealer. At and, day, um, Mark, you, you were the consumer so... Yeah. So look, um, before we go through the boat, so a few things uh, with the Southerners that just put me off a little bit. Um, mainly it was around that hard top design. It was a little bit narrow, um, very limited space in things like the side pockets, uh, the seating. So I'm not a very tall person. So I found that when I put the seats all the way forward, could barely uh, reach the steering wheel. Um, distance between. The, the just that, that distance. Um, I found the dash, even though it could hold a big sounder unit it was very flat on that passenger yep. side and things would kind of fall off um, entrance to the front of the cabin to me just felt a bit narrow and a bit cramped a bit claustrophobic yeah. um, look they're, they're probably the major things I didn't not that I ever heard of a single structural problem with a southerner but I didn't love the way they did the underfloor construction and I think these boats are a whole lot better built now, yeah. um, completely different boats. So look, I'm not saying there, there was anything major wrong with the Southerners, it's just that when you're spending a fair bit of money on a product, you want to absolutely love your boat, and I just couldn't love them. But this boat, obviously, I love this boat. So um, there was a bunch of boats on my short list, and I'll probably cover that at another time, but obviously I can only afford one boat, and this is Make the one well. boat, um, and I think it's going to be the right boat. So what I might do is just go over this boat front to back and show you all the things that I think are good about these yellow fins and in particular uh, some of the points of difference where I feel the yellow fins do certain things better than some of the other brands. All right, so starting right at the front of the boat here, what you're going to notice here is a, a few uh, trailer Im improvements compared to the last trailer. This is an upgraded model, so you have a better jockey wheel, you have a bunch of stainless steel components uh, for the brakes, etc. You'll notice Yellowfin at the moment uh, with these new models is doing basically a bow plate as standard. So I think that is a really, really good idea. Now, if we're looking um, at the hull, they have made some minor uh, modifications under here. And the thing, one of the things I love about the Yellowfin hull is this full length uh, spray chine. So making them definitely one of the driest uh, plate boats out there so they don't just cut that off halfway so I really like how they do that obviously with the yellow fin uh, you've got a six mil hull all the way through and those of you who would have seen me test my last boat versus another brand five mil versus six mil um, I personally didn't think there was going to be a difference but there is absolutely a huge difference between a five mil and a six mil hull okay it's just it's having the weight in the hull and it's having the weight down low uh, in the waterline where you need it so to help the boat really cut through the slop. But look, 
if we have a look at this boat this is the first one that i've seen that is basically all black so a single color and i think it looks personally i think it looks a hell of a lot better than the two-tone color scheme so i'm really happy that i went with that also with the trailer what you'll notice is the upgraded trailer has got all black uh, components with the rollers and things like that so it works really really well now as i mentioned um, the southerners i had problems with the hard top so the hard tops on the new boats are basically much bigger i'm not sure if they're taller but there's they're definitely wider there's definitely a hell of a lot more room in the hard top itself and we'll jump up and have a look at that in a minute uh, i've decided to go with dual wipers there on the a cabin as well all right let's go around the the back of the boat here and have a look at a few more aspects so I want to tell you guys little things as well that the other guys in other videos don't um, pick up that I've actually picked up. So one thing I like about the yellow fins as well is the transom area here on this platform is not excessively big. So if you look at this area here, it's not excessively long. It's long enough to get your foot up on there, to get in the boat, to do what you need to do, but it's not this big, wasted, flat, wide platform the way they basically push it in in the middle just to allow the engine to go up, but don't waste space on the right of the boat, uh, on either side of the boat, I really do like that. Uh, zip wake trim tabs come standard on these things. You'll notice a one kilowatt transducer there. Now, another thing the, the yellow fins do really well is the ladder. So something so simple as a ladder this is probably one of, if not the best um, ladder on the market in terms of it comes down like actual genuine steps. So they angle backwards, they're nice and wide, they're nice and thick, and you can climb up this ladder to get on and off your boat, which is honestly how, you know, how we use our ladders in most uh, circumstances. Not many people are using them to get in and out of the water in a diving situation that often. So these ladders, are absolutely awesome and they just make everything so easy okay we'll climb up in to the boat and you'll have to um excuse the mess there's this boat has literally just arrived to the dealership um a few hours ago so there's things absolutely everywhere but anyway let's have a look around all right again the bait board uh sorry the bait board um, that Yellowfin have included here. This is the upgraded model uh, with all the storage in there. It's an absolute game changer. It's something that is so very simple. And quite frankly, I don't know why the other boat brands are not doing it because you've got all your rigging, tackle boxes, etc., at the back of the boat where you actually need them. You're not going from here, trying to get tackle boxes from up the front, under your seats, in the side pockets, swaying around, getting sick. It's just a really, really bad idea. So these things are absolutely awesome. Um, as you can see, the entry door there is also nice and big. Now I've gone for these uh, rotating rod holders as well because they are extremely strong and it will allow you to basically uh, run your rods at any single uh, angle you want. Now, I uh, really love this U-deck flooring, and it's not just on the flooring. I'll just show you guys so you can see it runs all the way along uh, in the side pockets there as well, and on top of the side decks. Now, the first thing that when I jumped uh, on board this boat, and I'm sure everyone has seen, uh, you know, seen these boats, seen photos on the internet, the websites, uh, all that sort of stuff, as soon as I got on board this boat, I was amazed at how much space there actually is. It is a lot bigger boat than it sounds like on paper. And, you know, I was tossing up between this model and the next uh, model up. But look, they both have a seven-person capacity. They can both do absolutely anything I need. Now that I've seen this boat and I'm in this boat, I'm actually glad that I didn't go uh, for the next bigger model because the boat is actually huge. It's got heaps of room inside the boat here heaps and heaps of room so now if we're going to have a look at the hard top and i'm going to talk through 
uh, some of those issues I had uh, with the previous model. So let's start here. So what they've done is, as you can see, the old model, the hardtop used to be a lot further this way on the sides to allow more of a walk around on the outside of the cabin. So you can definitely still walk around this by the way, but they've pushed that cabin wall out. You can see a good 50, 60 mil. Now what that has allowed for is a lot more shoulder room in the cabin on the seats and to also walk through the seats. Now it's a little bit dark in here, but one thing lacking in the Southerners was storage inside the hardtop. So now you've got heaps of storage um, on both sides of the hardtop there. Now, another thing, uh, like I said, which I didn't love about the Southerners was the dash configuration. The dash was very flat on the left hand side. Put your wallet, put your keys up there and they'd basically fall straight off when you accelerate. Now let's have a look at this dash. You've just got this huge area over the top here where you can put all of your stuff and it's not going anywhere. And there's this epic, massive, industrial size compass. So there's no excuse for getting lost um, in this boat. So I really love that. Now, headroom is just absolutely awesome. So space in this hardtop is huge. Big grab rail up at the top here. Um, I don't know 100% whether they've lengthened it, but it certainly looks a lot bigger to me. So I think it has. So now when you're sitting um, on your chair here, so let's just have a look from the side. Let's say I was sitting here, my head's up around here. You can see the hard top now goes well past where my head is gonna be in a seated position. So basically what I'm trying to say is there's just so much more room in this hard top now. Uh, the weather protection is absolutely fantastic. Now, just going back to the dash quickly, um, again, I'd say one of the best on the market, if not the best, this huge dashboard now where you can have two massive screens. I'll be starting with a 16 inch Garmin unit there and I'll look to add a, another unit later on. Uh, zip weight controller I asked to be placed in the center because I saw that in some cases they were placing it basically to the sides. Got a nice good quality steering wheel there. All right, now going to the seating position. So like I said before, I pretty much sitting on a seat in the Southerners. Yes, I am short at like five foot eight. I sat in the Southerner seats. I could not even touch the steering wheel or could barely touch the steering wheel. It was really just made for people that are six and a half foot tall, quite frankly. Now sitting in this seat, I think they've positioned it a bit higher. The vision is just ridiculously good here. Like, let's have a look. I'm sitting on the seat. My head is right in the middle of the windscreen and I've got another tons of room above the top of my head. So the driving position here is actually just outstanding. I can sit in the seat comfortably. I can have my hand on the wheel. This is just gonna make a really, really big difference for those long days um, offshore trolling around, looking for bait, looking for fish. Now the cabin's a little bit dark, so I'm not sure if this is actually going to work, but I can quickly jump in there. It's probably a little bit dark for you guys to see. Let me just go around here. Now, one of the reasons I like this boat as well is that it has a proper cabin bunk area that you can actually sleep in. So proper six foot bunks, not little 1.6, 1.7, uh, meter bunks. I think these bunks are somewhere around the two meter mark um, as I look at them. So you can genuinely sleep in here. There's heaps of headroom inside here as well. It's fully carpeted. Uh, it's very luxurious. Uh, there's a toilet under there. So this is a seriously good cabin with a lock-up option for security uh, for overnighting. Now you may not be able to see it but all these little things make a difference in the cabin around the floor fully welded fully welded nowhere for water ingress like other boats that i may have owned in the past where the cabin bunks the vertical sections are not welded to the floor and water just goes absolutely everywhere so that sort of stuff uh, might not be a big deal to some people but to me it sort of thing just drives me absolutely crazy so anyway look this is day one first look there's stuff everywhere there's heaps of work to do on this boat we've got outriggers to go on, stone guards to go on the trailer, engine to fit. We've got to tune the um, 
the digital steering, which is going to be really cool because it allows you to adjust the resistance and the amount of turns from lock to lock based on different RPM levels. So it's an absolute game changer. So lots of work to do on this boat, but look, I'm really excited and I think there's going to be a lot of um, great adventures to be had on this boat and uh, appreciate you guys sticking around on the channel. I know I haven't put up a lot of content in the last couple of years, had a few personal family and health struggles and things going on. So we haven't been on the water a great deal, but you know, we're definitely, we're about to be back and there's lots of great adventures to be had. So please stick around, hit the subscribe button. And as always, you know, I'm gonna show you guys this boat in absolute detail like no one else will. There'll be no BS. We'll test it in every scenario you can possibly think of. Um, you know, stability, chop, swell, I'll measure everything. We'll check how much spray it throws up. We'll give it an absolute thrashing offshore in big conditions. We'll do everything there is to do. If it's great, you'll know it. If it's reasonable, you know it. If it's crap, you'll know it as well because there's no BS on this channel. So anyway, see you guys shortly.